Deep breath, everybody. Earth signs, what's going on for you? This is a little reading for you. Weekend, the other two I just did air and fire. They weren't really weekend readings, but whatever. We'll <laughs> Let's see where we go with you. So Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo in the extended. I'll pull some individual cards for each Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo so you can get some individual information about what this, if this is your storyline, okay? So earth signs, what's going on for you? Mm -hmm. Ask wonderfully, receive graciously. A little manifesting guide here. Close your eyes to open your heart. That's some beautiful uh, king and queen of cups. The hero of your own cosmic journey. There's the ace of swords. So there's a little bit of reclaiming your vibration, reclaiming. I, I've been talking a lot about staying in high vibration right now. We're really being asked to stay out of the muck and the mire, stay away from your toxic Twitter feed. Um, I definitely have that going on. Um, my old, <laughs> my old friends from the media, stay away, stay away. All right, let's see where we go. What is going on for earth signs? We have the full moon in Aries and it is conjunct Chiron, I believe, 16 degrees Aries. If it's not exactly at 16 degrees, it's close. All right, and Chiron is our wounded healer. So whatever's going on is gonna show us a deep inner wound that needs to be healed and that is going to be magical. It is going to make things fall into place a little bit, so I'm liking it. Underneath is the high priestess. That's your inner wisdom, your guidance system, six of swords, five of cups, eight of swords. Whoops, I'm gonna do this. Page of swords, lots of swords here. Um, temperance right in the middle, Sagittarius. There's the queen of cups. Knight of Pentacles, there's Virgo energy, Seven of Swords, mm, mm, mm. Two of Cups. All right, so for you, my darling, I feel like you might be intuiting the arrival of someone in your life, someone who has had a rough go of it, a rough time of it, the Five of Cups and the Eight of Swords. This person doesn't know where else to turn, all right? So I feel like they might be connecting with you out of the blue. This person sends a message. It's very, this is divine timing. Again, I know y'all hate, hate me when I talk about divine timing. Like, just tell me it's going to be, you know, October 17th. I can't tell you that because this has to do with the energy of when it's time, when it's ready, when it's supposed to happen. And the page of swords is that person sending, sending a note. All right, sending a note to you, the Queen of Cups. This person could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, that's Cancerian energy right there. I feel like you might be connected to this person spiritually. And this is about a love relationship. I feel like they have been, I feel like they're running away. The Seven of Swords in this deck, you see the back of him, right? I feel like they told a lie and they ran away or something like that. They told um, like the relationship that they were in is is over and they just, they needed to get out. I, it could have been a dangerous situation for them. They could have felt very trapped. Uh, there could have been third party energy and they just had to get away from it. Um, I like the fact that you there's this lovely energy of one step at a time for you and for them together. It's not rushed, it's not hurry, there's no need to do that. But this other situation, this person is um, definitely escaping. I'm gonna clarify that a little bit. The Five of Cups and the Eight of Swords. Two of Swords, Three of Wands, Four of Wands, Six of Pentacles. Uh, yeah, there was a there's a love relationship that they are breaking out of, I feel like uh, they have been um, trapped by a financial 
problem. Okay, and their expectation is to go towards something better and you are the something better for sure. Um, this person has an expectation that you guys are going to get together, maybe even get married or be life partners in some way. And what I said about close your eyes to open your heart, I think this is like, pay no attention. It's going to be not good. I think when this person tells you the story of what's gone on with them, I think you kind of have to close your eyes to the hate filled, angry rhetoric or angry um, diatribe. This person is going to, is going to rant and rant about what happened and it's not good. Okay. I, I think it's going to be maybe even a little bit scary to you. Like, wow, that was really bad. I don't want any part of that. However, close your eyes to open your heart. I feel like you're going to understand who this person is on an energetic level. And you're going to recognize that they had to break out of that. They could no longer, they could no longer be in that situation because it was just crushing their spirit. All right. So on an energetic level, you and this queen of cups really do understand each other. And I do feel like I think it also looks bad to other people. There might be some kind of inappropriateness where this person's a lot younger than you. I don't know why that's inappropriate, but I just saying like there's a some kind of big gap or they were married to like your college roommate or there's some kind of break in protocol here. And I don't think you care about that. I think you recognize it and you know, but it's sort of like a, you know what? This person's right for me, two of cups. And it doesn't look all that pretty. It's kind of, it's I don't know what movie this is or TV show this is, but it's like someone um, gets dumped at the altar and in the wedding, in the crowd of the wedding, um, is this four weddings and a funeral? I can't remember, but um, there's a sense of like, that's my person, not you, not the one at the altar, that's my person. There's something like that because this is a celebration, this is a party, or this is a, and you know, some kind, I don't know if it's gonna be that dramatic, but it is a little bit romantic. This is like King Arthur pulling the sword from the stone. Quite romantic how this, how this goes down. This person's running away from a really bad situation and I'm glad that they are. Now, if this is you, feel free to swap around the energies as you know. If you are running away from a bad situation toward another person, I feel like they're gonna get it. I do. I feel like they're gonna be like, bring it. Come on. I'm fine with it. I'm fine with it. Because there's something like a, uh, an understanding between the two of you. Okay. Archangel Michael is bringing this in, is trying to help this happen. Page of Wands, King of Pentacles, King of Cups, and the Knight of Cups. Very romantic, very loving. You guys might've known each other since you were kids or you might have had, you just are on the same page. Okay, you're just on the same page. It would have happened naturally anyway. Now, some of you might have had, there might have been some kind of third party shenanigans while they were married to this other person. And luckily um, they've decided to make, they've decided to make a decision. They've decided to move on from that. I don't think you, um, I don't think you really did anything or I don't think you're like, I think you maybe asked for the love of your life. And here they are. And here they are. So I'm going <laughs> to, Charlie's looking at me like, what? The love of your life? I thought I was the love of your life. All right. So the link is in, in the description box below. If you want to continue on with this reading, if this is your reading, Click on that link and I will see you over there for the rest of this. I'll get a timing card and uh, I'll pull some special cards for Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. All right, my love. See you over there. 
All right, I hope you enjoyed that video. If it was helpful to you, please consider liking this video and sharing it with anybody who might have a need for similar kind of information. And if you like this video, check out these videos.